Happy birthday to all my motherfucking Geminis. Salutes. We about to get into Gemini compatibilities. We gonna get this shit right. So, Gemini compatible with Virgo. See now, you both need each other in your lives. Whether you know it or not. Or whether you feel to believe it or not. Like, y'all two need each other. Because, look at it like this. The sun will be the Gemini. The moon will be Virgo. Because the moon represents your feelings and emotions. And of course... Gemini is not a feminine sign. They are more masculine. So masculine will be persuaded towards being aggression, passion, motivation, men, a.k.a. the sun in the sky. And of course, Virgo is more predicated towards feminine, earth. Of course, earth and water goes together. So of course, Virgo is more like the feminine. they more like shyish at times, a.k.a. they like the female perspective. So that would play out into a position as of... Virgos is predicated towards down to earth qualities, making things make sense. And of course, looking at the earthly perspective matter. See, Gemini's and Mercury. See, basically, Mercury is like the way we think of communicating and utilize our intellect. So basically, Mercury will be predicated towards our mind, the way we communicate. So you need the sun and you need the moon, aka you need your actions and you need your reactions and response, aka your moon is who you personally are. So of course, that would be. The inner world, the internal realm. These are the perspectives that you will basically be inclined with. So when you have these two coming together, see off rip, y'all both, when it comes to sexuality, y'all both are going to be kind of like putting up y'all guards because Virgos is more predicated towards, they they very shy. When they get naked, they or if they try to get, if you try to get a Virgo naked, they're going to be very shy. And of course, some zodiac signs can may be very mad with this perspective because it could play out into many different totalities. Like you be you could be very horny and shit. Your Venus may be in uh probably Aries or some shit. We just making a little prom quick example when we talking about this. So if your Venus is in Aries or shit, and of course you want to basically hurry up and slide up in that thing, you're gonna be like, yo, wait, hold on, why why you taking so long? Why you so shy for? You're gonna be very very um impulsive. You're gonna be very impatient you're gonna lose patience <clears throat> like your passion for you to basically get hard you're gonna get unhard very fast because the virgo person is basically being very shy and they're not basically getting naked for you when you want them to get naked see and of course aries are basically a masculine side so take that into consideration with the gemini see the gemini is mutable and adaptable and they love to think and communicate so of course they like to be mutable and adaptable to things so looking at the gemini perspective like if the gemini want to have sex the gemini is going to feel free to basically get naked see now the virgo is going to kind of be like kind of shyish and they may take their time at things because you know that's an earth sign earth sign they like to take their things take their time take their time with things they like to th make sure things make sense in order for them to basically dive into these things so of course that's how it's going to be playing out see that's that's the perspective that's the perspective when we talk about sexual affairs see the sex is going to be kind of like not really very intense because y'all both are kind of like different in y'all manner, depending on the circumstance situation. See, a Gemini man is more pretty much mutable and adaptable. And of course, Gemini women come across very flirty. And of course, Gemini women will basically be in many relationships. It depends, though. Now, they, they got a little bit of earth in it, and they charge, they come down to earth. But of course, they got too much air and shit. They can be all over the place and shit. La, 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 la. You know how that goes. See, more like predicated towards like a... Libra, see, a Libra is like, they initiate new ways on that they can communicate when it comes to relating in relationships. See, a Gemini will basically come up with their own perspective as far as how um they can both be indecisive. Yeah, and see, now, Aquarius is an air sign. They're fixated. They know what the fuck they want to do. They're unique and original. And of course, they got Uranus, and of course, they got Saturn. So, of course, they're kind of, like, different in their own perspective. So, it's kind of like that perspective. But, of course, Virgo and Gemini, y'all need each other. Y'all will be like pretty much like a mother and father to each other at times, balancing y'all internal world and y'all external world. Y'all need each other to basically find that equilibrium, that balance, and to basically come together and relate. Also, when you got this perspective and this companionship, y'all both can work together. It just, y'all have to be on a spiritual perspective. For me, spiritual, so you got to put the spirituality first and leave all the other bullshit out, the, the persuasive, and everything will, be, everything will be Gucci. See, Gemini's is more predicated towards being outgoing, love to explore, love to get out there, and of course they love communication. Of course they strive for intellect, wisdom, knowledge. See, also Virgo does the same, but Virgo may take their time with certain things. Virgos 
like to do things in a steady manner. Of course, the Virgos can take on multitasking situations, which can outburn both of y'all at the same time. Geminis can do it too. Geminis can, will do it with the mind. Virgos will pretty much do it more with the with the earth perspective, like with the bodies and shit. But of course, Geminis is good with the hands too, so they may take on many perspectives perspectives in that manner. But of course, this can like overburn y'all, make y'all nervous and very out worn at times so y'all will have to like try to find the equilibrium and balance see what y'all both love and strive y'all love y'all both we see virgo love to strive towards looking at the details and worrying about things at times gemini are gonna look at the virgo like come on you worry too much looking at too many details gemini are gonna be like okay sometimes you gotta let the details like just be the details and you're gonna find out what you need to correct but you can't be just looking at details all damn day you gotta learn how to move around you gotta learn how to move around with a bunch of sharks and a bunch of whales you can't be looking at the details okay yeah of course of course we know fishes is in, is in the ocean but we got to go in there and explore gemini is gonna, is gonna want to go out there and be outgoing y'all both can suffer for anxiety at times hypochondria overthinking and things that that matter anxiety and uh mental outbursts so yeah try to be careful with that also gemini's you have different personalities also virgo yeah, different in your own way. Virgo loves health. Virgo stress about things they they things that you're supposed to eat. Gemini would basically go out there and eat anything at times too. So y'all both are kinda like different in your own man and the relationship can work out, but y'all both will have to find your own ways of coping with each other and bond bonding with each other. But y'all both can work out though. It's it's not an issue. It's just the things that y'all are into are two different things. Like it's just so different like y'all would like have to like cope with each other or find ways to like find mechanisms with each other like a virgo you know they would basically read a book all damn day a gemini would read a book but a gemini would like try to like get into more things and just explore a little bit more because that's like the other side of um the sagittarius and virgo is like the other side of pisces so virgo tends to basically get lost into the details at times and get all over the place so Things may be like up, ups and downs, but y'all strategy is very strong and po powerful and personal. Y'all both can work together and get shit done. Y'all both like are wonderful to to each other too at times. But y'all can both y'all both gonna be dealing with conflict between each other. A square. It's like a, it's gonna be a ninety degree angle. It's gonna be like a square. It's always gonna be conflict with something. Like a a Virgo can help um, a Gemini get real oriented towards looking at the details and being practical. While, while Gemini can also help the Virgo be more intellect, be more airy at times, and not taking things too too damn serious, and learn how to like switch things up and like learn how to look, try not to look too much at the details, just learn how to experience and explore. But y'all both are gonna like be predicated towards details, but of course y'all may have your own way of doing things. See, uh, Gemini can do a million one things at once, but of course it may be very hard for them to get one thing done because they have their mind fixated all over the place. Virgo like basically stress about health routine and scheduling, so of course the Virgo will be more predicated towards being more reliable as far as doing this task and doing that task. But of course, if y'all play y'all ups and downs at times, a Virgo will complain a lot too because they may want more. But of course, when they get more. It's like, okay, this is too much, yada, yada, yada. But they're still going to get the job done. So, yeah, y'all both can work out. Y'all both got to learn how to, like, deal with y'all in the conflict. And y'all be Gucci. But, yeah, that's pretty much Virgo and Gemini for now.